As some of you may know, I presented our app called Study Guide in front of 100 kids or so a couple of weeks ago with my company partners or business partners, and it was really successful. But after the presentations, a lot of kids came up to us and talked to us about different things. And a lot of kids talked to me about motivation and the future and what they were supposed to uh, anticipate and how I stayed motivated to do what I did, you know, attending a great university. Some would say the best university in Sweden for technological purposes and uh, still be able to run a company and still be able to work out and still be able to do videos and, you know, still be able to do all these other things. How do I stay motivated to do that? And uh, it's, it's a really simple answer, uh, but I'm, I'm continuously evolving my answer. But as of right now, I would say it's about learning about yourself. You need to learn how you work, what makes you tick. And you can learn what makes you tick by watching what makes other people tick. I watch a lot of different idols. I mean, I look up to Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, I look up to Gary Vee, The Rock. I look up to, you know, Bill Gates as well. Elon Musk, obviously. Uh, Jeff Bezos. All of these people I look up to. And I consume content from, from all of them and learn what makes them tick in order to teach myself what makes me tick. Now, I've come to realize that I'm a very practical person. So how I stay motivated is simply by making logical deductions of, you know, consequences that happen because of my actions. So if something really works out logically, when I think about it, like the consequences of my actions, you know, if I work out six days a week and I make sure that my diet is clean and I eat a lot, the logical consequence is that I will get bigger and I will get stronger and I will make progress. And that, those things motivate me. The, the goal and the journey motivate me. Now, it's not only the goal, but it is also the journey. And that's important to me as well. Because I'm a very logical person, I believe that you should not only be happy at the end goal, that would be really, really a waste of time. You have to be happy during the progress, during the journey. And to be that, you need to realize how to be happy in the journey. You have to make that logical, well, for me, being a practical person, I have to make that decision and think about how I can be happy during my journey, what will make me happy during my pursuit of my goals. Another super practical thing for me and for all of you other guys out there or girls that may be motivated by practical or logical things is that I like to hack my body. I like to read about how my body works, how my, you know, psych read about psychology as well, how my brain works and then really understand why I feel like I feel in different situations. And then I'll be able to know why I feel a certain way or why I'm not doing that or why I'm not doing this or why I'm doing this, uh, this thing that I'm doing and really get a good grasp of who I am, why I feel like I feel and well, really my aura. And that is key for me. I'd like to, I often learn about the body in order to override primal instincts that I may have, primal senses, uh, like laziness that I've talked in a previous video. So me being a practical person, that helps me go to the gym, even though I woke up at like six and I've been at it, you know, 6 a.m. and I've been at it all day until 8 p.m. and I've just gotten dinner and I haven't got to the gym yet. That's what helps me push past my uh, limits and push past my emotions uh, when it comes to uh, motivation, really. So that's what disciplines me, logical consequences and also learning about myself, hacking myself, my brain and my body in order to achieve the results that I want. So those are my two current takeaways when it comes to motivation, how to motivate yourself. So first, 
identify who you are, learn about yourself, and it doesn't happen over a day, it happens over a long course of time. I'm still learning about myself and how I work and what makes me tick. But I know that I'm very practical and I like logical consequences. And that's how I feel like I can motivate myself. So teach yourself what makes you tick and then use it to make progress on your goals. Number two is, you know, hack your body, learn about yourself, your primal instincts, how your brain works, how your body works, how chemical works, you know, chem biological chemicals that go into your body when you're winning, when you're losing, how you can get out of a rut and how to change states when you feel really angry, sad or whatever. Learn about yourself, learn about your body, learn about your brain. That can help you override instincts or, you know, senses that you have that are destructive or just not giving you anything right now. I hope these two tips help you. They've certainly helped me. Now, good luck in your future endeavors, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, stay driven.